Okay, well, it's happening. Um, today is the day I am graduating high school. So basically, I started my day today by just waking up and taking a shower. What's today? My graduation, but like COVID style. <laughs> This year has been one hell of a year. I don't even I don't even know where to begin. I think it's I think it's safe to start at the beginning. I guess the beginning of high school. I'm going to take you guys on a little recap of what my life was like at Westminster Christian High School. So here it is. Literally so much to this school. I I know like a lot of people they like their schools They love their schools, but like Westminster is not like it's not just a school and like I literally sound like I'm trying to promote it But like I love like I literally love Westminster with my whole heart I think being a part especially at the class of 2020 our our grade has been through a lot together starting in sixth grade we lost one of the most amazing people I have ever met one of the strongest fighters I've ever met. One of my best friends. Her name was Brianna Vega. She passed away from leukemia. So starting from the beginning, we've been a very close class that has had to deal with a lot. And then in high school, we ended up losing another one of our fighters, our warriors, Patrick Battle, who also lost his fight to cancer. And we've been through trials and tribulations through the whole entire thing and through that became way stronger and obviously a lot closer and then senior year rolled around we all thought it couldn't get any worse and then um my i still call him my boyfriend because like we were yes we were broken up but we were also like we were in an open relationship technically like we were still we we're still like dating we we're still like Boyfriend, doing bro boyfriend and girlfriend things, but like we were in an open relationship, so it like wasn't exclusive. I I'm I'm just addressing that because like a lot of people are like, oh, why do you still call me boyfriend? You guys weren't together. I still call him my boyfriend because we we were, um, technically. But in 2020, obviously, I lost my boyfriend and my best friend and one of the biggest light bulbs. He was like the biggest, brightest, shining flame in our <laughs> in our 2020 class. Um, everyone loved him, he was friends with everyone, so we lost Lucas in February, and then our class thought it couldn't get any worse, and then obviously quarantine hit, and then it was, it's kind of been, it's kind of been like downhill from there. So our class of 2020 has been through hell and back, literally. Um, so I just, I, I cannot like emphasize enough how amazing my high school years have been, also how 
incredibly hard they've been. They've been the best and the worst years of my life. For any of those people who are joining high school right now or they're going into their senior year, enjoy every second of it. So I guess I will stop blabbering about my year. My school is taking us to this place called Racetrack in Miami. We would be doing like a normal graduation, but obviously because of COVID, we can't be doing that. So we're going to this place called Racetrack. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's a racetrack. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. All right. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. It What's going on? Each day. 